Okay, here we are back in Legend of Heroes, Trails to Zero. So the prologue has ended and now we are able to enter the main game and we are greeted by these scenes. Good work. Your workload is pretty heavy this month too. It's alright, I'm used to it. So I'll leave the money transferred to you then. Sure thing, I'll transfer the money via IBC. Nevertheless, although I am the one who assigns the request, I shouldn't say it, but... I think you should consider reducing your workload a bit. Shizuku must be lonely all by herself, you know? My apologies, I promise not to bring this up again. By the way, HQ at Le Mans contacted me again. Still asking if you want to accept the offer. Not this again. I've rejected the offer multiple times already. Well, I think the HQ is desperately looking for a qualified bracer who could fill in for Cassius Bright. Weren't you guys disciples trained by the same master? As far as services and achievements go, you two stand equal, so stop rejecting and just accept the offer already. Unfortunately, we're two different kinds of people. Achievement-wise, unlike Cassius, I haven't resolved any international conflicts. Truth be told, I'm not qualified to be his successor. If you bring up international conflicts, didn't you resolve that matter in Ramaphiria? His Excellency, the Archduke presented you with a Medal of Honor, too. Isn't that enough to demonstrate your achievement in that regard? That matter wasn't truly solved by any means. While you managed to nip the butt of disaster before it caused any chaos, the masterminds behind it are still on the run. My original intent was to reject the medal. Jeez, you're way too serious. Gain a promotion will help reduce your workload a bit, you know. You completed over 100 requests this month. The workload is just abnormal. I didn't bite off more than I could chew. They increase the frequency of train and flight services so it's easier to go get around places outside Crossbell. Plus, two more braces are transferring to our branch. My workload will definitely lighten up. Those kids, you mean? Well, they're definitely rising stars with lots of potential. They're more reliable than the kids from that support section, for sure. Excuse us. Looks like they're here. Come up. We're upstairs. The second floor? Sorry for the in for the Sorry for the intrusion. So who are these two? Hi, Mr. Michel. Mr. Arios. Thank goodness, you're here. Just a coincidence. It's been three months since I last saw you two. You guys are finally here. Can't believe the two of you are transferring to our branch. Yes, yes, with you two here, the hectic times of the Crossbow branch will finally be over. I think you're making too much of us. We'll do our best. We won't let you down. Now then, Bracer Estelle Bright. Likewise, Joshua Bright. Officially reporting for duty at the Bracer Guild Crossbell Branch. So in case you're wondering where they were during all this Cold Steel stuff. Sure, the chief is late. I'd like to start the meeting, the morning meeting already. Can't really start without the chief. If I knew it was going to be like this, I should have gone back to sleep. Then after waking up in the afternoon, I would have gone to have fun at the casino. The ideal human failure. Sorry I'm late. Sorry, here, I just want to look at my settings real fast. Chief, good morning. Good morning, are we going to start the meeting immediately? Nope, there's no need. A communication came from headquarters some time ago. Today I'm having you undertake a special mission. A special mission? Somehow it's got a suspicious ring to it. A search mission like the one we did? Unfortunately, I don't know too. First of all, go to the police headquarters. Your client should be waiting there. So are they going to warp us or do we walk? They warp us. <laughs> Please, headquarters, third floor. We're moving up in the world, boys. Once again, we've been summoned by that nasty deputy chief. 
What in the world did he say he wanted? He said there's a guest waiting for us. I think he didn't summon us to just say bitter things or scold us. I have a feeling that we'll be hearing some bitter things anyway. Same. Let's be on our way. Banning's reporting. The special support section four members have arrived. Come in. Excuse us. Those uniforms are... Weren't those from the Guardian Force? My, what a greeting, Randy Orlando. I wonder, what's that act supposed to mean? Well, you see how to say this, I was a little surprised. You know her? The reaction of a probable guilty conscience. You guys, salute. She is Lieutenant Colonel Sonia, who acts as the Guardian Force Vice Commander. The Guardian Force Vice Commander? Pardon our rudeness. A Lieutenant Colonel, but in the regular army she's the equivalent to a commander. Is she such an important person? Important or not, in substance she's the Guardian Force number two. But as her charisma as a commander, she's without a doubt number one. Please relax. You are the special support section, right? Yes. Today, do you have something to talk with, about with us? Be honored. The likes of you useless newbies were called for dealing with this matter. Deputy Chief, please, I'll take it from here. But, I understand I will leave everything to you. Thank you. I'll introduce myself formally. My name is Sonia Balls, Crossbill Guardian Force of Vice Commander. Today I come to borrow the Special Support Section's help. Could you listen to a brief overview? A monster damage investigation? That's right. For almost a month, particular monsters' damage has been following one... I'm trying to figure out if that actually is correct. For almost a month, particular monsters' damages have been following one after another in various places of our state. I want to ask you for your help with this investigation. Please, wait a moment. It's not like Crossbell City, but an outside monster damage investigation? Are you complaining? No, not at all. Isn't the Guardian Force already investigating? And moreover, how would we ever be able to help you? In a lot of ways, there are too many incomprehensible things for these to be normal monster damage. Our investigation has reached a stalemate. That's why you could say I want to have a different point of view. A different point of view? Right, a point of view as investigations professionists, not guard professionists. So that's supposed to be professionals, I believe. In that regard, someone else beside you, s support section, would have done too, but... For instance, the well-known elite First Crime Division. I would greatly like to introduce them to you, but as you know, they are quite the busy lot. And so, due to many circumstances going on, your names were made. Did it trouble you? No. I understand. If things are like this, we will gladly help. So you say it's a monster damage investigation, but what should we do con concretely? Noel, bring that. Uh, Please. Thank you. Is she... Is something the matter? No, I'm sorry. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Wolf Monster Incident Report Received. This is a Guardian Force written report. In there is briefly written the, what our investigation has known. First of all, I want you to join the investigation by looking only at those records. To not give you any unnecessary preconceptions, too. I see. If that's the case, then allow us to give it a look later. Please do. Well, then I'm afraid, but... So yeah, uh, well then, allow us to excuse ourselves here. From now on, I will be staying in direct contact with the support section, so please report to me if you discover something. Roger. Deputy Chief, I am really sorry for having bothered you. No, no, please, do not hesitate to ask again. It looks like you fit in quite well, right? Well, I'm having a good time, more than doing Border Patrol maneuvers. That's nice. It was worth it introducing you. Noelle, let's go. Hi.
それでは失礼しますおおぼい Was she your superior officer in the Guardian Force by any chance? No, she wasn't directly, but... She instructed many times during training and military exercises. Even though she's a beauty, if you get her angry, she is freaking scary. In your case, Mr. Randy, isn't your attitude toward life the cause? Right. Somehow it looks like you've been causing many trouble due to women issues. Since we're talking about it, are you also acquainted with the female soldier who is accompanying the Vice Commander? Nope, never seen her before. Maybe she's someone working at the Tangram Gate the Vice Commander is in charge of. By the way, seems like she's piqued your interest, eh? Don't tell me that's love at first sight. Oh. No, it's not that. It's just that I have the feeling I saw her somewhere. How long are you going to talk about worthless stuff? Could it be that? It's about Sergei who told you to come mock me, eh? No, no way! We are very sorry. Then get out of here at once. Honestly, every one of you ignoring my advice. You know what that naturally means, right? Hey! Well, you will be spending all of your daytime searching for monsters in the fields or something. If it suits you, why don't you all transfer to the Guardian Force? Together with that annoying Sergei. Pardon us? What an ugly bastard. Wished I had earplugs. Well, now we are just a... Now, we were a little at fault, too. Little for sure, though. I think the remarks were a bit too much. Well, even if we get angry, there's nothing we can do. At any rate, let's go back for now and try to look over the records. In addition, it looks like we'll need to act deciding the investigation policy. It appears they aren't normal monster damage. Incomprehensible things. Whatever could they be? So I do need to cook. Yeah, I can't tell you. <laughs> so I assume these are like details about the case. Hopefully they'll summarize it for us. This is... Then it's true it's happening in various places. Though it almost doesn't make it into news. Indeed. It seems they're not mere monster damage. A wolf-type monster. Maybe an indigenous species of Crossbell? Hard to say. However, it's clear that the footprints were left in the places where the damage occurred. That's the proof that such a monster exists. However, it has been confirmed yet in the Guardian Force search, right? That worries me a little. Yeah, if it's hiding its shape, it seems it's quite the sly monster. I mean, it shouldn't have been better if they had hired some remarkably skilled hunters. You're right. I don't think we can do something even if we worked on this. Lloyd, what's wrong? Something flash on you again? More than flashing. I thought that maybe if we search these monster damage from an investigation point of view, something could come out. From an investigation point of view. Searching the monster damages? For instance, if we perceive this chain of monster damages in this incident, in this case, who would be the culprit? No, well, the wolf-type monster in the reports, right? It seems that there's not just one, but a pack acting together. So in that case, what about the criminal's profile and motive? Well? I see. You mean that from this written report you can't see those, right? Yes, if they're highly intelligent monsters, normally they shouldn't come close to human habitations. If hunger was the motive, something like the hospital damage report would have been too inexplicable. There shouldn't be some kind of truth that... Shouldn't there be some kind of truth that these can explain? Indeed, it stands as a theory. Then our search plan is decided, right? Yeah, in any case, let's hear about the people involved in places which suffer damages have to say. At least the minimum we can do using our methods is to complement this written report. Right. If we can even be a little help to the Guardian Force, it won't be a wasted effort. What a relief! We aren't stuck running around the mountains blindly hunting down monsters. And so, Mr. Lloyd, in order to get information, where should we head first? Let's see. Let's begin by visiting Armor Armorica? I don't know. 
Armorica Village that got assaulted first. The damage they received is the most concrete, after all. It'd be best if we can at least get a hold of some information about the monster's characteristics. I see. That sounds good. Armorica Village is located to the northeast of the city, right? Yeah. We can just head out the northeast exit and take the orbital bus there. Also, this is our very first activity outside the city. We don't know what will be waiting for us there. Let's depart after we finish preparations. You're right. Just in case, I think it's best to also check if there are other support requests. Good idea, Tio. Let's go check. So we need to go to the library. So we need to talk to Oscar at the bakery. And we need to go to the bank. So I was wondering if that might have been Noel, but it seems like there may be subtle differences between the two of them. Um, wrong thing. Oops. Here we are, recipe. Trying to remember the controls because I haven't played this for a little while. Uh, we want to make one with her. I only have one tender my. Damn you, Tio! Oh my god, she made it actually. Oh my god, we gotta go find some ingredients. I don't remember if you can actually buy them here. I want to see you can. Crispy fry. So those I have a lot of. This one I need a bunch of. And here's the expensive one. Right there. I'm hoping she doesn't botch it again. And sadly, yeah, botching it does mean actually not failing, technically. Controls. Come on, Tio. Think of the cat. Resurrect Fry, what the... What? Failure caution. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to buy more, save, and when we pick up in a moment, I will have the damn things. Okay, it only took two more tries to get the freaking cat food. So we're going to feed the cat, then we're going to start doing our little tour of the town. Let's see, since they are cops, where's the nearest donut shop? Sappers, I don't actually know if there's like some sort of stereotype in Japan like there are, is in the U.S. with the donut shop. I don't know if they'd be like a ramen stall or something, or... I don't know. This better be worth it, cat. Three fish fillets. Anyway, so the thing I wanted to do next, system, record. So we got a bunch of stuff at the end of the previous video. Critical recovery we did in the one fight, was it this one? Nope. Clear the chapter without death, tumbler, tenacious lion, complete the chapter without fleeing. And then probably this one, since this is the prologue. Yeah, that's the only one's possible. Hmm. So we got two of the ones that I imagine to be somewhat annoying to get normally out of the way early. That's right, boys, we're ahead of the ball. Let's give him defense too, which is so damn tempting. Okay, 
uses her... She has dex 5 anyway for virtue of using a gun. Hmm. Like, Randy really does need it because he actually tries to hit crap. So we lose art defense for some reason by equipping the jacket. Anyway, yeah. I'm not too worried about the armor at the moment. We'll probably have chances to buy other stuff later. Now, I may regret not buying the gun. I may even come back for that. We have to see what all is up for grabs here in the department store. So that's to do the shopping. The thing is, I came to search for data use in a homework report, but my family drives its men hard. The reason they begin saying it takes it's begun raining for days on end in the Republic grain producing region. Because starting from around next week, the Republic's produced vegetables price will rise. It should increase by 20% for orders of the Empire produced ones. Seems I'll be able to adjust the stocking up somehow. If possible, I want to cause inconveniences for the customers. So that's a repeat. Good morning. Please spend all today healthily too. Department store makes an effort to listen to its customers. If there's something you are dissatisfied with, please tell us without hesitation. Good morning, Mr. Neston. Everyone, good morning. You seem to be going somewhere. You can tell? It's because I've been in this business for long. Everyone, when you miss some of your properties at your destination, you unconsciously become impatient. Please prepare in order not to forget anything. Don't worry, we know where our towel is. If it isn't the man who recently came... <laughs> This is the man who recently comes off and to buy Gravier magazines. Oh, well, you like them too, eh? Can check the goods without missing a week. You betcha, after all, that's my life work. Gravier magazines, I see. Randy, in front of the women folk, that's a bit too... What is it, Law? You want to see him too? Be my guest, I'll give him to you later. No, no, that's not... Don't say something that could bring a misunderstanding. Did I maybe bring up an awkward subject? So if you didn't see, I did put up a subtitled version of the opening song for this game. If you don't know what Graver is and you don't want to do the Google search, just look and see what he's reading in the uh, opening song. And that will tell you all you need to know. So I'm going to get two of these, just in case we're separated from T.O. Crossbell Times Volume 2, yoink! Decoration for Ellie's Room. I'm accompanying Mama for shopping today, too, though I would prefer to watch over the house alone. Do you see the new articles in the Western Clothes Shop? I do want. However, when I told my husband, he was against it. In Crossbell, there are a lot of boutiques like this shop. In particular, this shop roughly covers even minor brands. Please enjoy assortment of goods not in the least inferior to other shops. What do you even sell? Eh. This might be what the girls are wearing. Notice I own two of them. That would explain why they lose art defense if I give her the other things. When I hear rumors about good works of art, I become unable to contain myself. The other day I went to Lamont State Art Museum to see the Celadon porcelain jars. If I could, I'd like to show them to my customers, too. What do you sell? Hold on. What? Talk to her already. The current state congress is just a bunch of fools. They came in approval law without having a factional dispute. Good grief, what a sad story it is. Sounds like the US Congress right now. Some time ago I guided bracer customers. A young man and a young girl. Some of them gave an atmosphere like being a couple. What envy. I want a boyfriend too. Well, good luck, lady. The shoe design often reflects the artisan's personality. Can the shape change so much for shoes belonging to the same category? When I think about it, my heart leaps. Like, that one's not bad if I knew what agility did offhand. I knew back in the old days, but 
It's been a while since I went into Legend of Heroes. And this will be definitely a good refresher for Cold Steel 3. Sadly, looking at my current schedule, there's no way I'm going to have time to do Azure. So just a bit of a warning for you guys. Azure will go for 2020. Here's the library. Hi, Uncle Miles. Lloyd, welcome. Are you here to borrow some books? No, we're here because of work. I think you requested the Triple S for help, right? I will it's about locating and returning some overdue books. That's right, I did submit a request like that. Shall I start immediately explaining the job details? Sure. Thank you. Recently, there have been several cases where people forgot to return their overdue books. So I'd like you guys to find the borrowers and bring the books back. I see. Doesn't sound like a difficult task. So, do you have these person's addresses? The information is recorded on the borrower cards. I'll read it to you right now. First up, Mr. Fay from the Bellheim apartment on West Street. Next, Miss Clarice from the apartment street Acacia on e our apartment complex Acacia on East Street. Finally, Mr. Raymond from the CSPD HQ in the governmental district. Mr. Raymond? So sorry about that, Uncle Miles. I didn't expect someone from the police force to be so unpunctual. Don't worry about it. I'd be overjoyed if the reader is completely absorbed in the content of the book and forgot to return it on time. I think that may not be the case at all. After all, there are quite a lot of lazy people in this world. Why are you looking at me with that cold stare? No reason. Anyway, I think it's pretty clear what we need to do. We'll get started right away. Thank you. Once you have all three books, please return them to me. I'm kind of you, Lloyd. Okay, one of these dudes... Was it you that gave me the book? Researching history is a hard thing. Rummaging reference books, collecting folklore occasionally, visit a related historical site... If it's the feel of say investigating facts, yes. Supply and feel of study... Damn, he doesn't have the next one for us. Let's see, this book is... I've been working here for five years, there's so many books I don't know about. Our book collection is truly huge, even now I get lost in it sometimes. As for being able to grasp the whole thing, I might not be on the director's level. Nothing over here. I moved to Crossbell recently. Townscape of Crossbell is beautiful, I think it's a very nice place. You know, you know, when I grow up I want to be a priest. When I do that, I'll read books to little kids. And they will hate you every single second of it, dude. Just run now while you can. If you know what you're doing, you can practice your unicycle while juggling, and you'll have a guaranteed stream of income. City Hall. Let me introduce you to the establishment. See Hall, there are two facilities. The Ceremony and the Congress Building. Ceremony Hall is for special events, yada yada. And Congress are the people we're going to be paying visits to in the near future when we have a bunch of handcuffs. Don't need to go in there. Door leads to the left wing, it's where the mayor's office is. The other door leads to the where the chairman's offices are. Important politicians, huge influence, yada yada. Mayor's office, door is locked. I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and that'll be the first case of Azure handcuffing those loonies. Hi everyone, I've heard about it. Do the monster damage see if we're going outside the city, right? From now on, we plan on to go to Amar Armarqua Village. <laughs> I will support you with all my might. I want to say that, but... I'm worried about if the orbital communications will reach you. I wonder how was it? There should be no problems inside the city. I see. Is it the case that if we're too far from Enigma, we can't communicate? Probably operating system-wise, it was supposed to be used for investigations only inside the city. So theoretically speaking, if we are outside the city for roughly 200 selge, orbital waves should reach. 200 selge? They should barely reach the places where people live inside the state. Then we can even communicate, eh? Thank goodness. Everyone, if anything happens, please contact Fran Seeker. You got it. Please don't be worried. Well, we're just going to do an investigation. That's right, did you know at present Crossbell Police, a monster information survey is being performed. An information survey? I think you know that in your combat notebook there are entries about monsters. 
The monsters you fought once are recorded in the combat notebook. When you've gathered a certain degree of information, please show it to me. The information everyone gathered will be used as a base by officials for security measures. I see. The police are thinking th various things out. This is in order to keep the citizens safe, too. Whenever you show me a monster information, I'll pay you a little, too, so please feel free to drop by, okay? Since I got used to these operations out of great pain, it would be a pity not to be able to back you up. If anything happens, please contact headquarters without fault. Good morning, Mr. Raymond. Hi, you the, from the Triple S? You have business at headquarters as well? We, you've got some guts feigning ignorance to late in the game, eh? The culprit is you! Randy, cut out the jokes, alright? That's too stupid. As a policeman, it was a line I wanted to try saying at least once. I don't know if that's a reference to Case Closed or Detective Conan or what exactly. What on earth is going on? The thing is, we received a support request from the library. Mr. Raymond, don't you still have a book you borrowed from the library? Yes, now that you mention it, you're right. I'm sure of it. I borrowed one, yeah. Excuse me? Have you perhaps lost the book or something? I don't think it's the case. Why the interrogative? I'll go search for a bit. We're gonna have to break his fingers, folks. Found it! I found it! Here it is! Beauties of the Continent. I see. Well, thank goodness. He made us anxious there. Why this book? I'm sure it's a book which is written... In which written are episodes of women who left behind great deeds. You know, I thought it was a gravier... <laughs> That's what I was thinking, sadly, by the title. I thought it was a gravier photo album collecting continental beauties or something. Being different from what I thought, I forgot it at the bottom of my desk like that. I don't think that would be normal for a library to have such a book. Well, we simply recovered the book like this, so let's say that in the end everything turned out alright. Mr. Raymond, thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. Okay, Lloyd, baton to the knee. Teach him to return his stuff on, on time in the future. Nothing does that quite like a limp. First of all, thank you for finding the book. I'll be sure to borrow one after properly checking its contents. Let's see, duty roster handout, things were supposed to be in the meeting room above, but the first ground division occupied it. They're always like that, you know. Well, then I think it should be time to start. One, two, three. What? They aren't all here! Today's meeting place has suddenly changed. I wonder if everyone went to the meeting room on the second floor. There's no one at all. Hi guys, seems you're working from the morning. Looks like we're gonna be busy today. Friends, seems like you have a meeting since this morning, right? They're going to decide everyone's patrol routes on the District Crime Prevention Department. What about this past since I joined the police? They say it's time to throw me at various jobs. Even my seniors are in high spirits, you know. You seem busy, too. Let's both do our best. You guys have it hard, too. We're still rookies, after all. Kind of like that guy. It's going to be a shame when he dies. Hey there. Thanks for your work. You doing those support requests or something accurately today, too? More or less, it's like that. How are the 2nd Division people doing as of late? Not so bad. We're working on a few cases, but it's not that the investigations advance suddenly. We can only work with discretion on one by one. When it comes to investigation, you can only do that. Quick, eat his lunch. Nothing upstairs. Anyway, we have the first book. So now we need to hit up the bakery and the bank. I think the bank is right here, but I am not 100% certain. Waterfront. The company moved into the building last year. A lot of incomplete materials piled up. I've got time. I've got to find time to sort them. The next column is. Recently, I was finally allowed to write articles. Though it's just a small column in the culture section, even so, I'm happy. Gotta start somewhere, man. My, if it isn't the sports section. Hello, hello, how have you all been? You're really slick. 
regarding the other day's case. You aren't going to write us up as jokes again, are you? Don't get angry. Even though things may appear that way, Big Sis is rooting for you. I'm sorry, because I'm going to be a tad little busy this week. I guess I don't have time to chat. Until I get back, save up those amusing comments, okay? Though it's certainly a shiny event, there's also the fact that it'll end up with a joint article in the Empire Report. Even so, you going, Grace? Of course. If it's an Empire Memorial Ceremony, it'll be a chance to see in person the Erebonia Imperial Household. Just for a moment, I'll have them all in the palm of my hand. And then she can crush them. Hey, here we go, the bank. Good morning, welcome to IBC Corporate HQ. Are you surprised? It's a fine building, right? People seeing it for the first time are usually astonished. When you work here, you get used to it. That jacket, are you guys connected to the police? We are the people from the security department working for the IBC. Please leave the IBC security matters to us. Well, we could do that if you guys aren't such screw-ups. Let's see what the economic section says. So the IBC started a new service, huh? Let's look at the stock price again. I think I'll check them. Welcome. Welcome to Crossbell International Bank. Though it's been two years since my assignment here, I often got customers to the teller window. Maybe it's because I'm in charge to stay next to the reception desk that I get often. Asked often. Uh, if you get questions, if you want to check your account, talk to reception. Please wait a moment. Welcome, I'll check your account now. Please do. Sorry, I'm still going through the process. Please wait in line to the left of the sofa. Welcome, welcome to the International Bank of Crossbell. You are... Miss Ellie, a long time no see. Miss Ellie... Good morning, Miss Lanfei. It's been a while. This is my first time seeing you after you return from your study abroad. Do you want me to contact Miss Maria Bell? She's currently taking a tour around Michelin, but I'm sure she'll gladly rush back to meet you if I notify her of your presence here. Bell is busy as always, I see. There's no need. I don't have anything important today to speak to Bell about. I'll visit her another time. I see. I'll make sure to inform her. Some lady here has connection with people at IBC. Moreover, it seems they're pretty close. Just like a milady. I can hear you. Lloyd, today, aren't we here because of work? Oh yeah, I unintentionally forgot about that. Please let me introduce ourselves. We're members of the CSPD Triple S. I believe people at IBC want to request something from us. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry, I'll explain it right away. Thank you. Perhaps you've already read about this on various magazines. IBC will begin offering soon a new service regarding Sepeth Exchange. To be more specific, our service exchange is mirror for Sepeth at a rate higher than your average market value. So the exchange rate is better than what the normal shops offer. That's indeed convenient. The purpose of the service is to keep a reservoir of Sepeth fragments because of the scarcity of natural septium. As expected from IBC, I think it's a simple yet effective service. Thanks for the compliment. It's just that due to counterfeit and theft problems, the service is currently only open to IBC members. Our next step is to use the Orbital Terminals to store Sepeth. And we'd like to participate we'd like you to participate in beta testing the service, hence the request. Sounds good, so what do we need to do exactly? First, please take this card with you. Now please follow my instructions to begin. By the way, a specific amount of Sepeth is required for your exchange. Basically 30 fragments each for the seven kinds should be sufficient. 30 each, got it. Cool, let's give it a try then. It's not mandatory that we exchange all of them at once. We can drop by here whenever we have a break from other requests. You've become able to use the IBC Exchange Service. After selecting Sepeth Exchange, select Exchange to perform the exchange. Welcome to Crossbell International Bank. Unfortunately, Miss Maria Bell left this morning for some inspections. I'm sorry. I'll tell you who came today. Caddy Bank. <laughs> that thing's crap. So I do have enough. Hmm. 
30 of each. Well, there go my upgrades. Oh, looks like 30 fragments have been exchanged for each kind of sepith. Please give me a second here. This is the reception desk. I'd like to request an exchange of 30 sepith fragments of each type. Right, right. Okay, I see. Yes, understood. I have confirmed this transaction with our employees at the exchange terminal. I heard there was an incident in which one employee mixed up void and earth fragments, but that, that transaction was pulled right away. Hopefully everything will run smoothly from now on. So keep in mind, Void should be Space Element in the other games. The other ones for the higher elements are Mirage and Time. And what's really sad is Void is the most important one in this entire series, from what I understand. The Crossbell ones. I suppose people have become more proficient at it. I'm glad we were able to help. Thank you so much. It's not much, but please take these as tokens of our appreciation. Balms, balms, EP charges. Very generous of you. There's more. You can keep using that VIP card I gave you earlier. You are our special guest. You can continue using our exchange service in the future. Please consider another token of your appreciation for your help. Are you sure this is alright? Is this too much? You'd let us use such privileged service that's only available to IBC members. Those are awesome perks. You decide to give them to us because of our young lady here? I doubt that's the reason. Lanfe, that's not the reason why you're doing this, right? Of course not. If there's anything I could assist you in the near future, you're welcome to drop by any time. Yeah, seems it's been useful. Thanks again. You've been a great help, Chief. That kind of algorithm is especially challenging. That's... I see. As expected from the Chief's opinion. Long time no see, Chief. That voice. Tio, how are you doing? Chief, could this man be your boss? Yes, he's my direct boss, Chief of the Orbital Staff Development Division. He's also a specialist of Orbital Networks, as well as the head of the Crossbell e branch of Epstein Foundation. I guess he counts as my supervisor. That new division of yours at CSPD appears to be running smoothly. Thank goodness. Tio, how come you never drop by and report to me? I'm really worried about you. Is that why you left the Orbital Staff at the weapon shop without a word? Now that you mention it, when do you also said that a person from the Foundation comes by frequently? That's because... Crap, I must have made Tio angry. But throwing a little kid in a big city like this, that's just beyond... Chief, your behavior is really suspicious. Anyway, please refrain from secretly dropping off equipment at various locations from now on. We aren't playing some treasure hunt game here. I understand. I'm terribly sorry, Tio. Please don't be mad, okay? I'm mad precisely because you're always like this, Chief. You're right. Tio's pretty harsh. I don't know why. I'm just so irritated by this. In case you're wondering, I'm not leaving Crossbell at all in this video. <laughs> We're just going to be doing the side quest, talking to people, and next time we'll actually move forward with the storyline. Probably should have prefaced this video with that. Actually, wait a second. Message plate. Hayway. Tour set for the water bus that goes to Michelin is here, huh? Here there's many fine shops in Michelin. I'm looking forward to this. Just wondering if someone was out there. Oh well. It's a huge Ferris wheel at Michelin theme park. They have various attractions like a roller coaster and horror house there, too. I want to try riding the roller coaster. Still haven't been on one yet. There was the kid. I guess that when you run every morning, it can't be helped to get feel hungry. 
But if my weight increases, my jumping power will decrease. This is painful. Threw away the store that we operate since my grandfather's time and started with this cart. This too is trained for mastering the art of making better noodles. This choice is made in order to listen to a wider range of opinions on my noodles. By all means, you should try my noodles. We can't afford your noodles, lady. Spoke to her already. My family line for generations have all been merchants. My old man runs a trading company, and my grandpa is, from the tra is the trade association president. You see, I have no interest at all in doing anything like that. You know, my papa's a great person. He's the president of a large trading company. But my big brother hates papa. I don't remember who we're looking for. My brother just won't return from downtown, you see. When I contacted the hospital, they said it's already time for his release. I expect I have to go get him. Let's play pretend bracers. Take this and that. Bracers are invincible. That is one ugly rabbit. Excuse me, Miss Clarice. Well, and Clarice? What in the... Her name was Clarice earlier. Do you have a moment? Yes, how may I help you? Actually, we're here because of a request we received from the library librarian. That's awkwardly worded. Miss Claris, did you happen to borrow a book from the library and you have yet to return it? Completely forgot about it. Now that you mention it, this book is long overdue now, right? Looks like she accidentally forgot to return it. I become more forget more and more forgetful as I age. No one's gonna school me when she finds this out. Anyway, please wait here. Here, this is the one. Mark and the Witch. This book? What's up, milady? Have you read this before? Yes. It's a famous fairy tale which is amongst one of the most borrowed books in the library. When my neighbor Serena goes to work, she asks me to look after her younger brother. I thought it'd be a good idea to read a book to him, so I borrowed this one. You seem really to enjoy the story. I see. I'm becoming interested in this book, too. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Not at all. Thank you. I'll make sure to return the book sometime in the future. Okay, throw some boiling water on her. Lloyd, teach her a lesson. See so you reading to the little boy next door, so I borrowed a book. If you get a chance, you should read it, too. I was about to say, isn't this the vacant one? Some youths moved next door recently. When I went to greet them, it was a twin-tailed young girl and a black-haired young man. If I remember correctly, they said they were bracers. As expected, they are smart young people. And there we have our answer. This is the Bracer Guild. Let's see if we can meet them. My, if it isn't the boys. Might you have the time to expressly visit your business rivals? If it's alright with you, might we even put you to work? No, despite appearances, we're on duty. Is that so? Too bad. Maybe you guys should hurry. What? Why? Never mind, just talking to myself. Oh crud, I missed the second part. The shifts are posted. Rescheduling the shifts, please wait a moment. It's you guys. Mr. Arios. It's been a while. There's no need to be so nervous. Regarding the downtown incident, that was good work. You resolved the situation before we got involved and you were a great help to us. Well, it's no big deal. Well, if this little man got involved, it would have resolved it, been resolved in a single stroke, huh? I feel like we're in the palm of his hand. Now then, I think I'll get going. Because those two came and gave me a little free time. Who are you talking about? So I think I'm not going to be able to make it downtown in this video, just for constraints. Cop and he fished up a big one today. Peter, you know you can't lose to him. Mitch and win. Let's unleash our skills while fishing tonight, shall we?
Okay, so they say the same thing regardless of which one you talk to. If I know anybody, I think they might be holding a conversation. The town on the Republic side of the border is called Altair. Though it's not that big, many people get to, got to crossbell from there. The Tangram gate of the crossbell side border is always rather congested. On weekends, the CGF people come in here in great numbers to eat. It's fun getting to know all different kinds of people. Everyone seems to be having a tough at work. Yes, they're off duty, but they look dead tired. As expected, Shan Shan must encourage them. Though I came to Crossbell to purchase goods, in the end I spent a whole month sightseeing. I wonder what's happening now around, around now in the Imperial Mansion. I fully enjoyed sightseeing Crossbell. It's time to go buy the Septium Crystal I've had my sight on. It appears that a bus route from Crossbell City Northern Exit to Mountain Town, Mains has been established. Ryan, that should be easy to get there. It's my first step to get close to my dear father, Major Trader. Finally, it's time to head out. Did I get everyone? Number one proc in crossbow right now is Archon CL tickets, Orbital Cars. Puck, are you planning to be a scalper? You know, Archon CL tickets are super popular. I didn't actually agree with my buddy, so I consulted a lawyer Ian about it. First of all, I was shocked. He said I have to decide what kind of business to do. I guess it's obvious. So let's hop up over to west side. We can make a detour in the weapon shop to uh, get a new orbital gun or whatever you want to call it, the pistols that Ellie uses. I'm still on the fence about Tio though. And I should mention the quest did burn my Sepith, so I can't do anything real fancy with my ordnance at the moment. By the way, Missy, the man came here again. The chief. Like he did before, he left an orbital staff. If you want to buy it, please do it quickly. It does round about things. Why doesn't he give it to Tio directly? If you don't give it a rest, I'll get angry. And we'll get the Laplace in too. So even though I didn't have my 444 Mira, we need this jacket. <laughs> we'll get a pair of grasshoppers. Okay, to the west side for the bakery. I think there's also a book over there for us. Did you hear someone took a new post in the Bracer Guild? I wonder what kind of persons they are. I'm curious, because all bracers are such amazing people. Lloyd, what's up, buddy? You guys want some bread? Now's not the time to ask you guys want some bread, you know. Oscar, did you send a request to Triple S? Did I? We indeed received a request from you. Come on, Oscar, we came here because of work. Yeah, I remember now. Just wanted to make you guys... Just wanted you guys to help me gather some ingredients to make a new type of bread. Plus, I ordered my stuff from delayed its shipment, so I'm short a few ingredients. That's why you called us for help. Makes sense, you can't bake bread without proper ingredients. Yep, that's the gist of it. You guys do it? If it's just material gathering, leave it to us. What are the ingredients you're looking for? I've got enough flour and butter. 
Well, you guys find monster fish meat times four, monster egg times three. Damn. You can easily find those on the outskirts of the city. We'll try fetching those on the side when we deal with other requests. My friend is eccentric. Wherever she's free, she sets off on a journey. Came to play today, too, but it's after she went outside. Seems that you're gathering the ingredients Oscar asked you. That's unfair. I'm searching, researching a new type of bread, too. Why only Oscar's request? Maybe something's wrong with this person. She seems to harbor a sense of rivalry with the guy over there. Is she bothered that we took up his request? Such a pretty... Such a petty re... Wait, could it be? We've heard that the ingredients delivery is late, so are you in trouble as well? I feel like we could search for yours, too. Then, monster egg times two, please. Please, hurry up. I want to have the new type of bread completed earlier than Oscar. You got it. Please wait a little. Lloyd is up in hard today. Surprisingly, I'm used to it. Something wrong? Nothing. So yeah, I'm already seeing where the problem is if I wanted to seriously talk to everyone in these start of chapter videos. It's going to really heavily eat up time. So we're supposed to be looking for a book somewhere around here, I think. They don't tell you anywhere like on the screen about... Uh, This morning is clear. If only the next day Congress showed many clear arguments. My husband was a congressman until about five years ago, circa. I thought he was sitting on a fence as a congress sitting at the fence. Though he was a sitting at the fence congressman, so this is like a flip flop guy or a moderate or I'm not entirely sure. Only listening spaced out to the other congressman exchanges. Can't at least praise him for just bringing in a lot with his pension. Don't forget we're here for a book. I was struggling with the design, I ended up pulling an all-nighter. However, even with the other party, however, with this, even the other party should be satisfied. Looking forward to tomorrow's meeting. Struggling with the design and ended up pulling an all-nighter. That man, he pulled an all-nighter again. When it comes down to the design of the new building, he's always like this. What a troublesome man. So there's nothing I can do, I'll pour him some hot black tea. That's called enabling, folks. You do not want to do that. Let's look upstairs. Have you heard? It seems the tickets for the new piece of the Ark on Ciel will be on sold soon. The long way Lady Ilya's gallant figure. I must get them absolutely. Locked. Skate. Here we are. Doesn't see Mr. Faye's around. Maybe I'll ask Pinsit. Hi there, Pinsit. Is your dad off to work today? You're one of Sis Wendy's friends. Hello, do you need something? You see, there's something I'd like to ask your dad about. Dad's on a business trip. He'll be back for another two months. Is that right? Guess we're out of luck then. We can't... We obviously can't start searching here. 
Are you looking for something? We're here to bring back a book your dad borrowed from the library. Have you ever heard of have you heard him taking it and talking about it at all? Could be the book that I'm reading right now? May I please take a look? Go ahead. Pins that showed the book to Lo Lloyd. It's got the time timestamp it's got the stamp from the library. This is probably the one. I see. Jeez, Dad, I can't believe you just left without returning the book. In that case, please take the book, mister. Are you sure? Aren't you reading it now? I believe you can apply for an extension to the return date. It's okay. I'm just taking a quick look. The book is actually quite boring. Look at the title. Let's see. Railroad Mania Recommendations. Name loans enough to tell you it's a book for hardcore fans. Dad probably borrowed the book so he could get me interested in the career as a railroad engineer or something. No way I'd fall for that. Please return the book as soon as possible, misters. Sure we will. Thanks a lot for your cooperation. Um... Today I'll go to the wholesale goods to the department store. Because I found some new general goods, I want to make a market for them. There are too many wholesale stores around freely associated with the department store. It's time for me to lock up shop. Time for me, too, to look sharp. Uh, getting tired. Fizz and Lloyd and friends. Haven't seen you in a while. Doing your best with the police work? I suppose. Even though it's just a bunch of chores. Everyone starts like that. Why don't I give you some guys some cooking tips? You guys are always hard at work. It's critical that you incorporate some nutrition some nutritious meals in your diet. Got the juicy steak recipe. Your uncle's gone to work too. I pray he's watching the fishing. Not getting any ideas. So let's see, that's the third book. Like, I'm trying to remember, I am supposed to be looking for three books. We got one in the East, one in the police station, then this one. The library is right here. You guys already finished collecting those overdue books? Sure did. Yes, Uncle Miles. Railway Maniacs, Mark and the Witch, Beauties of the Continent. All three books have been returned. Thank you, I'm really glad I had the help of Lloyd and you all. It's an honor to be told that. I suppose we completed the mission. Yes, thank you again for all your hard work. If I need anything else, I'll contact you guys. Please do. Okay, I'm just gonna go to headquarters and call it a video. When we pick up next time, we'll continue talking to people before we ultimately set up for our morgue. I don't know how many more people I'm going to talk to because I'm not getting everyone just due to the fact that there are way too many. It's completely infeasible here because like every opening video would be like two hours long compared to this one that's just at one right now. I'll receive the report. Overdue books, three for three. Three for three. I was promoted. I now have the information quartz. So I wonder, is that... Does that, um... Automatically fill in the book, or... Do I... Not get to keep them, I'm wondering. Quartz... Oops, didn't mean to take that off. But yeah, here's where we're going to call it quits, and next time hopefully we can finally set foot outside Crossbell. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.